We're going to get our concealed weapons licenses. So we took a concealed weapons course um, last year sometime and we have not actually gotten our license yet. Uh, we've been kind of procrastinating, we've been busy, we moved and there was a lot going on. So we're finally getting around to it. We do not carry at this time, but that is something that I would like to do. I don't know how many of you guys believe in carrying, but I grew up around guns and it's just kind of weird to me that I don't carry. I think, you know, it's definitely a matter of choice and opinion, but that's something that I plan to do. So anyway, today's hair is kind of thrown together. I like literally just threw up the front part into like a messy bun. It's time for me to wash again. So I got a lot of feedback from my subs about how to deal with breaking locks and what I've come to learn is that quite a few people have experienced that and I was told you know don't put oil on it don't put water on it everybody had their different opinions a couple people told me to analyze my diet try to get more water in uh, bamboo tea so there's a lot of things that I plan to try to kind of help out I guess with the dryness so that first day I put a little oil on it and it felt great and then I thought maybe if I don't spray water on my hair directly maybe if I just add some to my hands and then rub it together and then kind of go like that maybe I wouldn't experience frizz and slippage but water is just not my friend guys basically usually my braid outs last oh like they'll last over a week actually but just a little bit of water and my hair this is how it looks it's just like frizzy and just kind of has like this loose appearance and that's not typically how my hair looks after five days after a braid out so you know we each are experiencing different things within our journey we all have different hair types and i do believe that we just have to figure out what it is that works for us individually i'm sure i'll figure it out what i don't want is to not follow the sister lock rules but then have my hair snapping off around the perimeter i'd rather break the sister lock rule than the light loose hair i'm just saying so if i gotta break a few rules to keep my hair from falling out it is what it is so I read this one analogy that somebody wrote on their blog. I can't remember the name of the blog, but it was like, imagine your hair strands are like dry spaghetti, right? So when you have dry spaghetti, they easily snap, right? With little manipulation, they just break and it's very brittle. However, once you add water to the spaghetti, it's very pliable, bendable, and it doesn't break as easily. And I thought that that was a great analogy how to do that without my locks slipping out so <laughs> water i'm sure it is but i just gotta figure out until my hair is locked how to keep my hair nice and juicy so Interesting. Maybe once we get our RV. Yeah, I mean, our goal is to get an RV and eventually just kind of like travel. travel, do the whole RV thing, which would be pretty cool to vlog that. I think that would be really interesting. So, goals. Five years? We're saying five years. Hopefully, it's sooner than that. We'll see what happens. We gotta get the kids out of the mess yeah so we have kids right now so we obviously we have homeschooled before but their schools are good that they're in right now and they kind of like them so we don't want to pull them back out just so we can do our rv thing we're going to be patient and wait until they finish school and right now we are investing in real estate we have three rental properties so our goal is to get between seven and ten and then just kind of live our lives and be free. Free. So, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Hopefully, we'll get these licenses. Do they do a background check? 
or something like that. Yeah, they're gonna take our fingerprints and stuff. So hopefully Henry's record won't pop up. He used to be a criminal, so um, just kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, so hopefully we will have our license. I'll be checking back in. All right, guys. So just leaving the courthouse now. That literally took less than 10 minutes. The only reason it took 10 minutes was because we didn't realize we couldn't take cell phones into the courthouse. But went right in, filled out a sheet of paper that asked for my name, social, and aliases, and that was it. Paid the fee, and they said they'll send the license in the mail. So it was unusually easy to get a license. And I don't know if that's, I mean. It's in Rico County. I guess that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I don't know. People who are going to do bad stuff are not going to come in and get a license anyway. So I guess it's irrelevant to make it harder for people who are doing it like the legal way. So I don't know. I thought that that was pretty interesting.